So welcome back to another Badgertronics video. This is a repair video coming up shortly. We're just starting with a bit of a, an intro and a bit of a thank you to subscribers um, and those who sent me stickers. So I've got stiff stickers from Steve Rubb. He's the king of YouTube. I think he, he owns YouTube. He owns 98% of it from what I hear. Uh, everything that happens on YouTube, he has to approve first. So he sent me some stickers. He sent me his own sticker. He sent me some custom custom Thomas CXOV CDS stickers, custom South Main Auto Repair stickers. Um, I've also got genuine South Main Auto stickers. I've got genuine Thomas CXOV CDS stickers. Uh, Thomas, he's just hit 10 million views on YouTube, 15,000 subscribers. And he was telling me he didn't know that 100,000 subscribers would be possible, but I'm pretty sure we can get him up there somehow. Not quite sure how. I'm not sure him wearing a dress again is going to do it, but I'm sure there's a way to get Thomas to 100,000 subscribers, 20 million views. Any thoughts on that? Comment below, see what we can do to, to get him up there. Um, but yeah, this, this video, it's a repair video, I'll get the job done. It was too hard to film really, uh, but there's still some... Hopefully some useful info in there for similar jobs. Um, I don't know if any of you tried to do any kind of work on cars, get anything done when you've got a five week old son demanding all of your attention somehow. Uh, but yeah, trying to fix, do hard jobs on two hours sleep, wear out the right tools, wear the hoist. It's kind of fun. Uh, but got it done in the end. Uh, you'll see the main video now. This video takes you through all the way to pulling the seal out. From there on in, basically re reverse. I haven't, well, it's too hard to film, but I haven't shown too much after that, so you'll just have to make that up on your own. But this shows the important parts of how to how to get to the point where you can replace a seal. So here you go. So we're back, and as you can see, the golf up on axle stands again. I wonder why. Is it a problem with the transmission? It is. Uh, but thankfully, it appears to be a different problem. As you can see down here, we've got some oil on the ground. This appears to be coming from somewhere. So, our first thoughts, of course, where it's the, the pan gasket not sealing. But the pan looks dry, it's dry to the touch. So if you come further back, the oil's coming from the diff. And if we get a drop of the fluid, you can see it's kind of clear. It's not transmission fluid, it's gear oil. Which is a bit of a relief in some ways. Pain in the ass in others. Uh, so if you remember back to the original leak I had, which was coming from the drive shaft flange over here. That seems to be getting a wee bit worse. So I'm gonna have to get on and get that done. Fortunately I've got the gasket in well, the gasket, the seal in in my parts department, uh, but it's a bit of work to get it all out, get it all sorted. Not exactly what I planned on doing so soon after that other transmission will work, but no oh well. Right now to swap out that axle seal, first of all you need to take the flange off. And to do that there's a, of course there's a special tool. Uh, VW3109. Uh, it's used to compress the drive shaft, drive shaft flange so you can undo a circlip and pull out the um, the flange. Uh, of course, that tool's really expensive. I think it's about a couple hundred dollars when I got a quote for it, so we're going to make a nice bodgy one. Um, to help us do that, we just happen to have a spare O&M transmission. It's off. Uh, uh, an A3 or 1.8 turbo one, so it's no good for the Golf anyway. Uh, but it's the same flanges. In the place of our 
VW tool. We're going to make up a uh, tool using a pitman arm puller, some 10mm all thread, and my good buddy Steve Rob just sent me over a box of nuts and bolts so I can uh, stick a couple of nuts on there to, to help compress it. So we'll see what we can work out. Oh, I just happened to have the right oil cell on the on the shelf. Somehow I knew this moment was coming. So what we'll do, I'll show you what's, what's included. It's got the oil seal itself, fairly conventional, big old oil seal. I've got a new circlet, spring clip, and a VW cooler, a new cap. Uh, so start taking apart our junk transmission and I'll um, show you how it all goes together. Right, so first of all we've got to get this cover off. There we go, caps off. Now you can see the circlet. I'm going to thread that back in the hole. circuit pliers. There you go, John Deere to the rescue, so that's how you get the circuit off. So here's the flange off the car. Uh, the tool works, didn't really feel the need to show you how to pull a, a flange out of a, a gearbox, but this is why you need the special tool. There's this big spring on the back of it that you have to compress so you can get that circlip off. Uh, I'll stick it in the vise here, you can see. It takes a reasonable amount of force to, to compress it. Without the tool, a tool is going to be pretty hard to get that done. So, so working on the car itself, we got the wheel off. Uh, next step, let's come down to this, this side. You can then see the see the inner CV joint attached to the flange. We're going to come in. We're going to undo all the uh, triple square spline drive bolts to get the uh, drive shaft out of the way. I uh, might need to disconnect the lower ball joint so we can swing the whole whole strut assembly out of the way. Uh, I've tried to previously I tried to take out the whole drive shaft but the VR6 is the outer drive shafts are actually bonded into the hub assembly so unless you got plenty of big tools too hard so all I'm going to do is just disconnect in a CV joint from the flange uh, loosen take off, take off the bottom ball joint so I can swing the whole lot out of the way and bungee it up so then I can work on the flange now, there's not a lot of room to film in here so I'll just tell you how I do this uh, so cars are neutral we can rotate the axle around and uh, what we do we get our triple square bit jam it in and then to stop stop the disc or stop the axle from being able to rotate put a screwdriver in in between the two halves of the brake disc gets locked against that channel so you can only turn so far and it's locked saves you getting in and out of the car putting it in park so we'll do that undo one rotate around to the next one lock it off, get them all undone. Uh, it's the quickest way I've found to do it. So yeah I can't really film in there so 
I'll just get them undone. Take my word for it. You'll see. Uh, then we'll get it all this out of the way. There we go, all six bolts are out. There we go, that's, that's where they came from. Uh, so we will have to undo the bottom ball joint so we can pull the pull the strut forward a bit, get some clearance so we can get in and get our mega bodge special tool in there. Alright, so we've managed to expose our flange. The um, CV joint axles kind of out of the way, the struts off the ball joint, swung it out of the way as much as we can so we can now see what we're trying to do. Not a huge amount of room but that's what it is. Uh, so I'll try and get you in there best I can but near impossible. So we'll just go through the same process, we'll take that cap off, put this tool on, compress it, get the circlip out, then we've got to pull it out. So see what I can do to film that but not going to be easy. There you go, you can see tools in place, not a lot of room in there. I'll try and get the circuit out and then we'll start trying to pull the old flange off. Well that was about a hundred times harder on the car but yeah we finally got the circlip off, had to go and buy some new tools. Uh, let's get on to the next step and pull the flange off. Doing is just winding in some some bolts through the flange and push it away from the gearbox case. Uh, go nice and slowly, a little bit at a time, and it's coming off fairly easily. Uh, so yeah, no room for a puller. Plan Z. So there we go. There's our flange off. You can come in here, you see the. You can see the munted oil seal. So next step we're going to get that old seal out, push in a new one. And uh, installation is a reverse of removal. Are you a massive pain in the cock? So uh, that was the bulk of, that was the hard bit of the job. Getting all that out, getting it back in. Took, a, took forever really. I was waiting on, on tools. For once I actually had the part in stock, had a, a new oil seal kit as you saw, I had two of them. In fact I ended up ruining the first seal trying to drive it in, so I had to use a, the one out of the second kit, that was fine. The lack of space in there made it really difficult. Uh, you kind of work it arm's length, so just like that. Uh, so one thing I did have to modify, the original spring clip is one of these that has has no ears on it and trying to get that back in was probably harder than trying to play pick up sticks with your butt cheeks so I ended up buying a conventional one with two two holes on bought some new circuit pliers job done straight in trying to wrestle this one in just didn't work so one top tip I think that's um that was an inch, inch circlip, something like that. Can't quite remember. If you want to know, message me. I'll try and try and work it out. But it's the same size as that one. It locked in quite nicely. Uh, the other thing that happened when I took the CV joint, half the ball bearings fell out of it, rolled around the floor, got stuck all over the place. So I didn't film that. It certainly wasn't broadcastable on on YouTube. There's a few too many swear words in there. Uh, but yeah, I had to rebuild that too. It's quite a recent one, so it was in good shape. I just cleaned it up in my parts washer, stuck all the ball bearings back in, greased it up again, and got it done. So yeah, hopefully there's some useful info in there. Sorry I couldn't film it all, it's just way too hard. And again, trying to do it on two hours sleep. 
trying to look after a five week old kid. Charlie's awesome, but he doesn't help you get jobs done. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. See you at the next one.